Hi, and welcome back to the Giving Project for Children's Read Alouds. Today's story is a sweet and funny story called Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. It's a sweet story about a dog in search of a family. Would you take in this sweet dog and rescue him? I hope so. Today's question is, or today's themes are love, loneliness, compassion, and family. And today's question is, if you ever had a pet or an imaginary pet, what would you do to take care of it and show it love? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Can I be your dog? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. Dear people in Yellow House, woof, woof, can I be your dog? I'm potty trained and I have my own squeaky bones. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Ooh, who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfi. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Dear Arfi, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is, um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search. The Honeywells. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfi. Look, pal. I got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog in my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Veronica Shank, butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets. And good luck finding a home. No, no, no. Dear fire station dog number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I, I know my way around a fire hydrant. I have sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street. And, and yours? Is the shiniest. Arfie. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. Dear drunkyard guy, I'm not going to lie. You're my next to last choice, but these past few days have been rough, 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 rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much, and I bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours. Arfie. Dear Mutt, get lost! Dear last house on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds, and your windows are broken, and there's a funny smell. But I'm not picky, just lonely. Arfie. Arfie. Soggy box in the alley. Return to sender. Nobody at this address. Last house on Butternut Street. Arr! To Arfi. Dear Arfi, can I be your person? I need a friend who will get me through no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first-class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail's been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes! Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Woof! Scratch, scratch, scratch. Here's how you can help a homeless animal. Adopt a shelter animal instead of buying a pet. Volunteer at a shelter or a pet adoption event. Spray or neuter your pet so there'll be fewer fur babies to find homes for. Donate to your local animal shelter or a national animal advocacy group, such as the American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, ASPCA, or the Humane Society. Extend a helpful paw so that all animal friends can find love forever. For today's activity, I want you to think about if you had a pet, 
or an imaginary pet, what would you do to take care of that pet and show it some love? This dog was so desperate for some love. All it wanted was a home and a family and someone to maybe scratch its ears a little bit. So what could you do to take care of your pet or your imaginary pet? I would love to see these pictures or maybe you can even write a story about it. I'd love to see that too. Keep sending us those Im images and stories at thegivingprojectforchildren at gmail.com and I love to respond to you. Thank you so much for sharing today's story with us. Can I be your dog? by Troy Cummings. I love sharing these books with you. Let's continue to develop our love of reading together. Till next time.